Hey guys, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about giving this video a big thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. That would be an amazing birthday present for me because I am trying to hit 400 subscribers. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can hit that 400 mark. All right, you guys, enough with that intro. It is time to rank these six movies, right? I swear, you guys, I'm going to know off the top of my head one of these days because I'm always counting at the in the middle of this. Seven movies. Seven movies, you guys, that I saw in the month of April. Let's go ahead and get on with the video. Now, first off is going to be Stowaway. This is a Netflix original movie. We do have Anna Kendrick in here. We have Tony Collette. We have Shamir Anderson, which I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name wrong. If you're new, just know I say people's names wrong like all the time. And also Daniel Day Kim. Now, I mean, I love me some Anna Kendrick. I love me some Tony Collette. We're basically going out into outer space. We're going on a Mars trip that's supposed to last two years. It's supposed to be just three of them within, you know, this spacecraft to get to Mars. Unfortunately, Michael somehow ends up stowing away, hence the title of the movie, in the spaceship. I mean, the whole trip from the beginning just literally goes to dog poop. This was a tad bit boring for me, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's an okay movie. Up next would be Why Did You Kill Me? It is a documentary also on Netflix. Um, this one was an enjoyable documentary. Um, I had never heard of this story, uh, but basically we are following the Lane family. I'm sorry about my chair, you guys. Uh, I need to get a new one. It's like wobbly and screws are coming out loose and next thing you know you're gonna find a, bro a blooper reel with this just like literally me just falling down following the mother um who ends up using a myspace to capture the killers are uh, her daughter crystal the lane family have their issues too we got the mother who was a meth addict, who sold drugs, who was in and out of prison, the brothers in and out of prison as well. The mother actually admits to attempted murder towards the gang members. Like she went all out and was like, we're gonna have a party. We're, I'm gonna murder these people. I'm gonna shoot them as they're coming to this place. I found it interesting, you guys. I don't know, but I like documentaries and I like crime story documentaries. I mean, who doesn't like crime story documentaries? Like crime stories, then this is a pretty cool one. It's on Netflix. Let's move on to another Netflix movie, uh, Concrete Cowboy. I don't really know how I feel about this. I almost want to put it in the You Try tier, but I think it's a tad bit better than You Try, but like not necessarily in the okay section. I'm gonna make a new <laughs> roll for this. And I'm just gonna call it meh? Question mark? Basically one of those, we have the kid who acts out, the mother just cannot handle anymore. And it's like, look, I'm gonna go, you're gonna go have to go live with your dad because I just, I can't, I can't with this anymore. Like, I don't know what else to do, what more to do with you. So we go, we send them off to Papa. I mean, Papa, you know, he, he loves his son. You know, it's not one of those where, oh my God, like, why are you bringing this kid to me? Like, no, 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 no. Like, he loves them, but he, of course, left them young, so he doesn't really know him. We've seen this before, you guys. We've seen it before. Moving on to thunder force and i'm gonna go straight off and just say you tried i could very easily put it under bad but i don't really think it was absolutely terribly bad like other movies we have Melissa mccarthy uh we have octavia spencer we have jason bateman who i adore i know some of you you guys some of you actually really really love this movie i have not seen a really good positive review on this particular one and i'm really trying to like you know but i really was not here for it and i say it again i will say it again i am very shocked that i do not like this movie very shocked because y'all know and if you're new i love ridiculous movies i mean look ridiculous movie right here right behind me keanu love that movie ridiculous as hell but i love it and then just this 
I just, I don't know, you guys. I am, you know, there is a movie for everybody. I'm not judging you in any way. I may sound like I am, but I really, really, really am not judging you because everybody has their opinion on movies. People like stuff. People don't like stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to The Mitchells versus The Machines. I literally just uploaded a full review on this um, movie. I did have a really, really fun time with it. So far, it's my favorite animated movie of 2021. The animation in it is beautiful. It's stunning to look at they have a robot apocalypse invasion going on it is spectacular i'm not gonna last any longer because i literally like i said just put up a review for it um i'm gonna put it under wow because i think it's really really good um you know what i feel like wow might be a little bit too high up though it might just be a good movie we're gonna just leave it under wow it's there is there it's staying there and of course as always whatever i did review within the month is going to be down in the description box down below if you would like a fuller take of you know what i thought about each movie which honestly this month it was probably like three movies that i reviewed to be honest with you i wasn't really focused a lot on reviewing i was like you know what we're just gonna do it for my monthly tier list kind of quick little take i was focused a lot more on the oscars and kind of trying to catch up and watch the movies that i needed before that came out you know award a season and then i'm also right now re-watching the saw movies because spiral's coming out in a couple weeks so of course we're gonna be ranking those movies but we will get to those when we get to those um of course as always before we do get to the last two on here if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new let's go ahead and go on with Mortal Kombat which of course is like a remake a reboot we got the 90s version I did finally watch um Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion if you have not seen that you guys definitely recommend it because it is awesome there's just so much blood and murder and guts and everything but this 2021 version um uh, i'm just gonna say was an enjoyable movie um it does definitely give me that 90s nostalgia feeling towards it i know it's kind of been like mixed feelings on the movie obviously it's not perfect which by any means necessary honestly if it wasn't for the action scenes it would probably be under like okay or you tried this is one that is in theaters and on hbo max for the next month well i don't know i guess the next three weeks now it's been a week right since it's been now i honestly don't really understand the reasoning behind adding a whole new character of ko young he wasn't even all that great to be honest with you he yeah we could have done without him it is set up to have that sequel of okay if it does happen of course that's when we're gonna get johnny cage but honestly we should have just had him from the get-go i don't like that we don't actually have a tournament um the only movie so far that actually had a tournament was the 95 version i think that's the year it came out and again if we do get the tournament um my understanding is that that's supposed to come out in the sequel also from my understanding is this is supposed to be a trilogy so we're gonna see what happens there and that's probably when we're gonna get like katana and jade and shiva finally is tom clancy's with a remorse which stars another very handsome very handsome michael b jordan and this one was just okay for me i really wasn't here for it at all i just saw it yesterday well friday i'm filming this on saturday so yeah i saw it yesterday but you're gonna see this on sunday tom Clancy apparently is a writer and he does a lot of these kind of like crime um movies one who wrote jack ryan which i believe i did see the movie with chris pine but i have not seen the show with uh, john krasinski which i hear is absolutely amazing and apparently this one from my understanding falls within the jack ryan universe i think like this is like his solo deal i don't know i i don't remember the movie too well well as far as jack ryan movie i don't remember that there is also an in credit scene here you guys i'm trying to think because i honestly already forgot the damn movie <laughs> But we're talking about a revenge movie, which starts off as a revenge movie, but then we are dealing with the CIA. So you already know there's some shady little stuff going on with the CIA, and we got the Russians, and we got Guy Pierce, which, you know, you already know 
what character he's gonna play. They did have some pretty good shops though. The fighting uh, scenes were pretty good. Oh, Mortal Kombat, let me go back real quick. The fighting, even though I did like it, there's stuff about it that I didn't like. That like, they had like a lot of like really close up scenes, which I really wasn't here for. I do prefer to have like those wider ones, kind of like what we had with uh, John Wick. You know, you actually see what's going on in the fighting and I know that they're trying to get it to get us to feel like we're in that fight but like no 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 i ain't trying to be in that fight because you know what i'll be down and i'll be dead like right away but no i want to see it from like a distance i mean other than that i'm really not gonna say much because honestly i mean even though i just saw it i really don't recall it too well um but yeah we're just revenge cia military special ops unit we're gonna go we're gonna kill a lot of people these are the seven movies that i saw in the month of april of course like always let me know down below what did you see this month did we see any of the same things if we did do you agree with my ranking if you don't that's completely okay so that is it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye